sir, yes indeed, the largest wholesalers representing the finest suppliers of premium and imported beers, wine and, non and non-alcoholic beverages. We salute the Premier Air Show, Premier Air Show Heidelberg Dayton, thanks to Hartzell Propeller, sponsoring the Cruise Center, Hartzell, built on honor in Piqua, Ohio. Also, a great big thank you to the folks at Hooters for running the cruise center and for uh, Hartford Propeller for sponsoring that. Coming up in just a moment, we're going to be welcoming our buddy Skip Stewart in Prometheus. He's taxiing off to the right. And Danny Clisham, I think we're going to have to go to school to get ourselves a little uh, little mythology lesson. Uh, yes, uh, Prometheus. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Rob's got the explanation of that while I tell you about Skip Stewart before he gets into the air. Melissa coming in in her monoplane, and uh, it looks like to me she's going to stage and open the cockpit just like Sean and Mikey did. Am I right on that, everybody? That's a yes or that's a no. She I does. Know I'll tell you what, we're going to play it by ear. Folks, if you see your taxi up, stop the propeller and get out of the airplane. Instead of applauding together, how about a big happy birthday, Melissa? Because when do you have a birthday on an air show weekend? You celebrate on Friday, on Saturday, and Sunday. You get little bonus days because uh, you're out working, which you'd rather be doing. I'll tell you what, I'd rather spend my birthday on an air show than anywhere else. Indeed. Skip Stewart's going to change the pace with his Prometheus aircraft. It has got a flame job. It's chopped and channeled. It's raked and it's lowered. And uh, it has spinners like the prop, like on our old hot rod cars. And by the way, a great thing about Skip Stewart, July 30th at Oshkosh, Wisconsin, he's going to be the recipient of the Bill Barber Award for Showmanship, given to one individual or one team a year. Melissa is coming up to a stop close to the crowd. Skip Stewart is on the takeoff roll, and he rolls into a signature maneuver. Got a hold of this flight in the right edge of Thank you. 
doing some ground dusting. His uh, tires are right down in the field. Just above the blade of the grass. All right, recover. Give me a first flight position. You'll see some of them in the ground. Over to the side. 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 Something in mind for the bottom one. All right, closing in on the distance. The ribbons to your left. Skip Stewart from your right. He's going to do it. Underneath both ribbons with no smoke. All right, he's got that. Now, snap rolling out of that. He likes what he sees. Snap rolling around and changing direction 180 degrees as he climbs and snap rolls. All right, underneath both ribbons. That was the one. On the top ribbon. Now, what Rob and I might not have told you. Do you think Skip Stewart's going to do this the easy way? Heck no. Like, like lining up and flying underneath both ribbons right side up? No, from your right, Skip Stewart's going to lift the nose. He'll roll the airplane upside down right here. As he does, he gets there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, something that skip jumps that nobody else does. It is a balancing act, just like the knife edge flight on takeoff. I call it the slashing machete. The airplane will be a knife edge flight. You know what machete probably is in the movie? Oh, yeah. All right. They've got a particular spade on. of the Prometheus to slash that ribbon, but not in level knife edge flight. This will be a descending arc. Here he is, he's into it. Now he's got to break his rate of sink or his rate of descent with the throttle. Get it in knife edge flight. Get down low enough. Harder 